Hey guys, um, so sometimes life happens to us, right? And what may seem like such a difficult time and such a hardship, and it usually is, um, is actually a blessing in disguise. So when you, when something bad happens, you know, do we curse it or do we, you know, gracefully embrace it and just you know, go with it. You know, it uh, it takes a lot of trust and a lot of faith um, to do that. Um, and, and faith in God, right? And I mean, I strive to live in a state of surrendering. Um, surrendering doesn't mean that I am surrendering to, you know, I'm giving up. That's not what surrendering means. Surrendering means I am surrendering to his plan, his meaning, you know, the guy above. Uh, I'm surrendering to the moment in not fighting it and just going with the flow. Surrendering means I'm trusting and being present and learning, you know, just trying to be in the moment to learn whatever lesson I'm supposed to learn. You know, there's a really interesting story uh, about um, um, uh, this farmer, and I'm sure you guys have all heard some version of it, and I'll tell you my little version of it just to make the point. You know, the the, the story goes um, that, um, you know, I'm the farmer had a son, and the son was riding the farmer's horse one day, and um, the, it, it, uh, he, he, the horse tripped over something, and the farmer's son was thrown off the horse, and um, he ended up breaking his leg and the farmer was cursing you know what a what a bad this is such bad luck you know my son is now he can't help me in the fields and now you know I'm, I'm cursed and this is horrible well the next week you know war breaks out in the village and all the young men all the able-bodied men are called out to go to war but because the farmer's son had a broken leg um, he didn't go he wasn't able to go fight and then you know of course it's the story just continues with this you know one after another um, basically same idea right that you know what looked like a bad negative thing was actually a blessing in disguise um, you know sometimes things happen to us in our life you know whether it's uh, a breakup whether it's you know a, a, a loss of a job you know whether it's you know some disappointment or you know whatever it is you know someone losing a family member I mean that's heartbreaking I, I can't imagine um, the pain you know it, they're all here to teach us things they're all here to to help us surrendering you know to whatever lesson we're supposed to learn right and um, let's not fight it you know life is so much easier when you trust and go with the flow you know it's it's sometimes not sometimes a lot of times most of the times you know the lesson is not clear the lesson is is we don't even quite understand the lesson until you know months if not years later we look back and we go oh my god this was such a blessing right so for example you know I applied for a job in April uh, and really wanted the job and they didn't give it to me then because they gave it to the other person and you know so I said okay and I said you know what it's fine I'm sure I trust God's timing well a couple weeks ago they called me back and they said can you come apply for the job again well go for the, the formality of an interview and they offered me the position um, potentially if I wanted it and so I said sure and then they came back and they said well the schedule isn't quite right and this is that I and, and if long story short eventually you know I think I have the job um, and it's so funny because you know I realize now that if I had gotten the job back in April it would have prevented me from doing the things that I needed to do to take care of my family to take care of my friends you know my, my other commitments so I didn't realize it at the time you know although Shukarmola, you know, thank God I strive to live in a place of gratitude and surrendering. So I trusted God. But, you know, imagine, you know, if I had been really upset and, and you know, and it was it was challenging, mind you. The job would have been really nice, you know, financially, right? It's just new opportunities, new benefits. But the timing wasn't right. I needed to do other stuff, you know. Um, another example is, you know, the divorce. You know, the divorce happened. 14 years ago, right? And it was hell when it happened. I mean, absolutely, it was hell. But, you know, a few years after it, you know, I mean, now, you know, I look back and the divorce was the biggest blessing in my life. You know, 
we all cross paths for a reason, you know, and our time together with my ex-husband, that is, was what it was. We continued to be on very good terms, you know, and we co-parent our sons together and, you know, we're friends and we wish each other well and we've learned from that experience and we've moved on, you know, and, and there's, it is what it is, you know, you know, and, and it just, so the lesson today is, you know, for me, and anytime I do this, it's not to preach by any chance. It's because I need the reminder more than anyone else. So that's why I do this. And believe it or not, I actually go back and there have been times when literally that later that day, you know, something happened and I needed so much to listen to the same message that I was giving. Excuse me. So um, surrender and trust and have faith that everything is going to work out beautifully because it always does, you know, and, and it is what it is. So anyways, God bless. Take care and have an amazing day. Bye.